All right, so I figured I should probably follow up on Kingdom Come Deliverance and elaborate a little more, because a few people seem to have taken my video yesterday the wrong way, and there were, in fact, even some very, very angry responses. Those were just a couple. Oh, the majority was either positive or kind of neutral. But I do realize that since I was focusing mainly on the glitches and technical issues that I've been experiencing, this might have undermined my uh, presentation of what I like about the game a little bit. You know, I, I will freely admit it's a little bit of a personal flaw of mine to focus more on the negatives than on the positives and, and elaborate more on those. So, yeah, I'll, I'm just going to play it a little bit also so you can see how this goes for me. Now, I've, I've shown a lot of footage of the glitter, glitches in the other video and uh, a lot of people said that they don't have the same kind of issues or not as much at least some said yes it's just as bugged for them but yeah there there is a chance of course it, it might be something with my system now Performance-wise shouldn't be a problem because I have a, as a CPU, I have an i7 4790K, 4 gigahertz, and my GPU is a GTX 1080 Ti, and uh, the, the CPU is you know is not really bottlenecking. I checked that, and it's it's kind of just on the border of bottlenecking, so it bottlenecks it a little bit, but really not much. And uh, otherwise, yeah, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and you'd think that that is more than enough to really run the game smoothly. So there are is a plenty of things that are very much like. You know, the atmosphere is great. The historical accuracy is very respectable, because this is something that not that many developers bother with, and I understand why it's it's that much more work. You have to research a lot more. You have to. You know, pay attention to all these details whereas normally you can just pass something off as oh well it's just fantasy so we don't have to take care of this so as far as the loading times are concerned so i do have it installed on uh, on a mechanical hdd um i guess i'm a little outdated and that way i have my i have windows on an ssd but i've actually now ordered an ssd for games you know just to see if that fixes it now this would be the first time that i have such issues I, I played a lot of other games and never had a single problem with it i i played uh, far cry 4 recently for example which ran ran perfectly smoothly i run all the vr games perfectly smoothly with this graphics card i can go up to 2.2 times super sampling and everything runs just flawless and every other game has been running just fine i have not had any issues even before upgrading the gpu in fact oh damn it did you just close hmm. yeah i guess the shop just closed which is bad because i kind of kind of need some food let's see here what do we have oh yeah it's yeah they just hey shouldn't you close like in two minutes <laughs> okay fine I have no food. Let's see if I can make it. He's definitely going to be starving by the time. What? You star. Oh well. What just happened? Uh, you star. Oh. I have what? I have to eat something. <sighs> okay. So. I. I have no... I don't even know what's happening right now. I can't move my mouse. The compass is going apeshit. He keeps saying that all the time. What, what is even happening right now? Oh, I see. I see. So while I'm doing the fast travel on the map, it's still showing me the game from his perspective. That's weird. That's a first. That has not happened before. Okay. There are some really strange things going on here. Oh, and it's still loading? Supposedly the loading icon just stays. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's just me, if I'm cursed.
cursed or something i have no idea but i'm, I'm just going to try to ignore it and just play for a bit just so, so you can get a better impression of it now it's all blurry okay well just gonna let him rest and then get some food in the morning why do i not have any food on me i don't know oh right i gave my last salami to someone on the way yeah i'm trying to play like the honorable knight kind of character as so a trying to help people and all that um if the save system let me i would also like to do a, a rogue character but uh oh no okay never mind all right so let me get some food here in fact wasn't there yeah there's kitchens here let me see if they if they've made some noms there we go it's kind of funny that you can just eat out of everyone's pot i don't even think that counts as a criminal action because generally people seem to ignore it don't seem to get annoyed by that i really like the design you know the architecture and the way the the settlements are composed and the castles it's all yeah i said very convincing you know high immersion but i should probably just get a bit of dried meat because that's pretty much the only thing he has all right the haggling by the way is pretty cool i definitely like that the only problem is it's again a bit more tedious because of the loading right now it's not so bad it's only like what two or three seconds so far it's been taking a lot longer than that finally i only just that's the first offer <laughs> I probably shouldn't go down here because you can injure your feet quite easily, which is realistic, obviously. And yeah, I definitely need to buy a horse as soon as possible. <laughs> There's this missing neck again. Okay, so... As I said, combat is very rewarding. Uh, apparently some people have issues with that they think it feels awkward i mean sure if you want to compare to skyrim or something it i can see how it it would be more difficult in fact it is more difficult i agree in the beginning but once you get used to it it's actually pretty good it's really not a problem i think the clinch system may be uh, throwing people off because it's you're not used to you know when as you get close to enemies that this happens and in the beginning pretty much everybody is quicker to attack from the clinch so that can also be frustrating but overall i think the combat system is really very good ah there's some more food i guess it is a communal pot isn't it i don't think people have a problem with me taking some of that so yeah that seems good and now uh, where is oh yeah by the way i do appreciate that there are different letters for the quest markers so you can distinguish one from the other uh that guy is still sleeping looks like so yeah i'm just gonna sit down and wait all right so this time the fast travel is acting normally and by the way a lot of people had issues with what i said about the save function you know that it needs to save your schnapps. Oh, okay. There's an actual fight. That needs that for saving. And I know that it also saves when you sleep. And, you know, some people don't have an issue with it. They think it, it adds to the gameplay experience. And, you know, if you don't have a problem with it, that's fine. It's a matter of opinion. Personally, I don't like it. So I would prefer if, if there was an option for that sort of saving. Really? Wow. <laughs> well, I'll take your bow then. Where did it go? You dropped it somewhere, didn't you? Where did you drop it? What? That was a ninja vanish if I've ever seen one. <laughs> that guy disappeared very quickly. Didn't he drop his bow? I thought he did. 
Oh, there it is. It rolled down there. Perfect. I needed a bow for the archery contest anyway. And this should be a high-quality one. So what about you? You want something? Oh yeah, you want something. Bring it. He's got a pole arm. I don't want to be hit by that. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> I don't want to be hit by that. Next moment, gets hit by it. Yeah. Ow. I keep getting hit by it. Oof, I only just about caught that. Alright. Come on. It's also a nice touch that the blood on the weapon actually uh, gives you like a, a worse reaction from people. It impacts your charisma. I mean, yeah, duh. <laughs> You're covered in blood. That's not exactly <laughs> something that people like to deal with. Ow. Okay. All right, so this time there was no human ambush. And uh, another thing I should also point out, the overall design, the style is really nice. You know, the way they... You know, made it look like medieval drawings in the map and well have some I don't know if these are actual original medieval drawings or if they just made them based on the same style because it looks very much like it it's the same kind of style either way that's that's a very nice touch and the landscape overall I said like like I mentioned in the other video the graphics are really nice oh, yeah aside from the poppins and everything so and this is really also why despite the, the technical issues that i've personally been having you know whether or not you know how much of that is the current state of the game and how much is the is my system or who knows what occurs whatever it is you know regardless you know even though some of the stuff that i've been encountering is very frustrating the core like what what is the, the game that is there is very very promising this is all of these things can easily be fixed with updates well maybe i should say easily because i'm not a <laughs> developer uh, but you know with enough finishing touches this should be a pretty awesome game as far as i can tell so far because it's got a lot going for it. Some more food. <laughs> this guy's just stealing everyone's food. Now, as far as the character is concerned, generally I prefer character generation. So I can actually custom, custom, <laughs> customize the character. But, you know, the good thing is in this case they can do more with the character story-wise because he has his own personality and everything. So, it's got pros and cons. Personally, I'd rather have a custom character, but, you know, it's, it's still fine as it is. Let's see what you have to say about this. All the stone shenanigans here. And walking all the way back. So there is, of course, a lot of walking back and forth, as in every RPG with the quests. You know, this person sends you there, and that person wants that, and then you have to go there. That's, of course, to be expected. Oh yeah, right, the crown should be done as well now. And I also like how they capture a lot of the medieval mindset. For example, there is a quest where you find a devil skull, which turns out, well, spoiler, minor spoiler here, which turns out to be a just a human skull with antler deer stuck on. Antler deer. I think it's getting too late and I haven't had enough coffee. <laughs> deer antlers not antler deers so and and you can bring it to someone who has i guess experience with counterfeits and he can tell you that yep that's definitely a fake and did but there there is there is this uncertainty on the one hand people of course were superstitious a great deal more than we are nowadays but on the other hand it's not like 
they weren't skeptical. It's not like they weren't aware that there were a lot of fake relics and you know artifacts and, and that there were plenty of charlatans. So and, and some had the the attitude that well but if they do that then God will punish them and strike them down or whatever but others were not so optimistic and figured well this this is going to happen and we have to do what we can to figure out what's what's uh, what's real and what's fake so yeah that's that's captured in a pretty nuanced way because it's very easy to just portray people in the Middle Ages as completely irrational and superstitious and whatever based on some of the things that they did and, and believed. But it's, of course, not that, that simple. Good health to you. Let's see, is it done? What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Of course it's finished. Of course. Here you have it. Thank the Lord you found that Moldavite. It wouldn't be the same without it. Yeah, found it. You mean, <laughs> took it back from the bandits who ran off with it? Okay. And, oh, another thing that I also want to mention positively is um, the way they portray war in this game is, you know, I, I appreciate that it's it's a more, like, a grittier, more down-to-earth, realistic depiction. It's less of the glory and honor and everything, and more of, well, war sucks for the people involved, especially the civilians. You know, in, in the beginning, when a city is attacked, you can... Like, there is a lot of suffering, of course. There is, in fact, even a scene where you can prevent... YouTube bot is not going to like that word. Um, you can prevent a woman from being violated, I guess. That's a good way to make sure that it's, it doesn't get demonetized instantly. And yeah, I mean, these are the things that happened back then. Okay, where is the, the Wayfarer? And also the way the, the refugees end up in another town and the people there don't really like them being there. Nah, I don't want to deal with that guy right now. Um, let's see, let's just keep moving here. And, you know, the, the people in that town don't like the refugees being there, they don't give them jobs, etc. So they, they're forced to beg, which of course then the people like the locals think, well, the damn refugees bagging and, and being criminals all the time, which is what they're forced to do. If the the town is being raided and pillaged and burned down, then the people just didn't have anything to fall back on, really. So it just shows this this really bad side of war. I mean, there isn't realistically speaking, there's much positive about it anyway. It's, you know, the, the most positive thing you can say about it is that it's it happened out of necessity. But, yeah. So, the game just shows all the... Oh, hi. You're exactly the person I'm looking for, and you have no textures at all. <laughs> How about a horse? I know, that comes later. 250. Hmm. Could have been more. Oh, wait. And another hand? Oh, 2,175. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, for a nobleman, you're pretty stingy with your money, of which you have a lot. But yeah, that's uh, okay. 2.5k. I can actually afford to have the armor repaired, except that there is no armor here. This is another thing that I like. What they captured, you know, even though it it ends up being a little inconvenient with all the traveling around, but not every town has everything. You know, not every town has a swordsmith. Sometimes it may just have a blacksmith, and the blacksmith only makes some of the cruder weapons, whereas the, the finer stuff, you know, the better swords you can get from a swordsmith. And the armorer as well. Like, the tailorer has... Tailorer? I really cannot talk right now. The tailor has some padded armor, but, you know, the metal armor, you, for that you need to go to an armorer and to have it repaired there too. And, uh, yeah, so it, it all makes internal sense, so to speak. And, yeah, it's, like I've said, the, the game is a lot of fun to play, even when I run into issues, which, you know, today isn't anywhere near as bad as it was 
here and there before. But yeah, as I said, with, with a couple of updates, this should be a lot better. And I'm definitely looking forward to progressing, you know, getting more you know, better equipment and getting better at fighting because it should, you know, the better you get at the mechanics, the more interesting and rewarding it should be. Also, as you learn more techniques and such. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And so far, I have not dealt in shady things so far. So, with more folks on pickpocketing and backstabbing and sneaking and all that, this should open up another um, can of rogues, <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. And compared to the beta... It, it is running a lot better performance-wise. Now again, this may be due to my my upgrades, system upgrades, but you know it's definitely doing better than before. It's looking better. The dirt mechanic is also interesting. Where yeah, right now my charisma is actually pretty low because I'm in armor and the armor is dirty, so people don't react to it as well as you know, fine clothing. And I said stuff like blood on the weapon that also uh, makes him react not quite as favorably, which makes perfect sense here. There's a trough that I can... Oh, there's no water in it. This one, maybe? Yeah, there we go. So from washing, let me see... Yeah, charisma is now up to six, which is still not great. Oh, and also the... The wear looks really interesting. Um, definitely convincing. Let me see, this one is at... What? Oh. It's already at zero? Did it take that much damage? Damn. Yeah, that's why it looks all messed up. So it's all torn and worn out. So, yeah, I'll have to get to... Is there a tailor here? I don't think so. Is it... Tanner. The Tanner probably does not do repairs. Also, here's the horse trader. Can I actually afford one? Question is... Who is the person... Ah. Let's see if I can buy a horse from you. Or are you just... You're Johan. <laughs> That doesn't tell me much. Let's see if you're the person, uh, the horse dealer. Yes, you are. Good. Capacity is definitely going to be important. 38, 244. 39, 244. Bit more courage. Hmm, 41, 268. It's, well, you're a war horse, so of course you're a little better. Oh, you, you just want to be taken along for a ride, huh? Or do you just want to trample the chickens? Is that it? Binky? That's a terrible name. <laughs> In my humble opinion, at least. Right, I need saddles as well. Oh, and a book about horse riding skills. That seems useful. The only problem is, I don't know how to read yet. Because, you know, the game goes so far to be accurate about that as well. This guy really has no reason to be literate because very few people were and you know you just have to find someone to teach you how to read anyway i don't want to make the video too long so in the previous video i was not trying to trash the game or the developer or anything and i don't think i brought it across that way but at the same time i did focus a lot on the glitches just because it was that was mainly occupying my attention at the time because it was pretty bad. It has seems to have gotten better. I don't really know why. I've messed around with the settings a little bit, but not that much has changed, so I'm not sure. Uh, so right now it seems pretty okay. And yeah, so as I said, I very much appreciate the game for what it offers because it does a lot of things that other role-playing games don't you know there's this level of authenticity and it's got you know, interesting equipment and the the story so far is pretty good and you know there's a good amount to do the combat is satisfying and 
yeah, we'll see what else I think about it as I, as I go along. Of course, I've only scratched the surface so far. There's still plenty more to do. And yeah, this certainly has potential to be essentially medieval Skyrim. Because, you know, Skyrim also started out with uh, lots of glitches and whatnot and then needed updates. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll get there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this clarified things a little bit. And have a good one, folks.